Next tonight, to the race for the White House and the Republicans vying to become the next president of the United States, we go to North Dakota to meet Doug Burgum, the successful businessman turned governor and now candidate for president. A childhood friend says before Google, you would just ask Doug. So what inspired him to run for president? It's the latest in our series, Who Is?, which gives viewers a chance to hear from the people behind the politicians. In a few words, who is Doug Burgum? Doug Burgum is a kid that grew up in a small town, Arthur, North Dakota, 300 people. And what a fabulous place to grow up. The streets weren't even paved. I mean, there was no mail delivery. And everybody, like I said, neighbors helping neighbors. Had the gift of two amazing parents. My dad was a World War II Navy vet and learned from him courage and sacrifice. But he passed away when I was a freshman in high school. Mm -hmm. My mom went back to work to help pay the mortgage and make ends meet. And that was a great lesson from her because she had wisdom and perseverance and grace. Uh, incredible. I grew up playing basketball in an Arthur, my brother, my cousin. But then after undergrad, grad school, working in Chicago, I uh, saw my first computer and I said, wow, that's going to change the world. And literally bet the farm to become the seed capital for a startup called Great Plain Software. We went public, had this fantastic run as a public company, got acquired by Microsoft, and then I uh, joined that team and uh, helped uh, build Microsoft and to get it going on the track that it is today. Clearly, your roots go deep here in North Dakota. Rumor has it that your great-grandmother even tangled with Lieutenant Colonel George Custer and won. Yes. Any truth to that? <laughs> it's, in, it's absolutely it's written in North Dakota history. <laughs> She was the postmistress at, a, at a Fort Lincoln Army Post where Custer was stationed and he tried to circumvent her responsibility taking the U.S. mailbags. He cut them open and she went to battle with him over that and she won. It's also written that she was the first woman in the country to vote uh, as a presidential elector uh, in one of the early conventions back in the 1890s. <clears throat> You mentioned also you were an avid basketball player in, in high school, still playing basketball now. Yes. Any regrets about that pickup game the night before the first debate? I have none, none at all. Uh, sport has been so good to me. The amount of basketball I've played over my lifetime, ran track, played football, played organized uh, you know, adult softball for 30 plus years, and all of the things, you know, climbed mountains, skied stuff that should have killed me. And <laughs> I've never had a ankle or knee injury. So I'm way past my mileage warranty. On it. Like I am like just I'm grateful for the grateful for the gift I've had to be injury free for this long and I'm fully confident I'll be I'll be fully recovered and back at it. It's not gonna it's not gonna stop me. How's the Achilles doing now? Well today it's doing great and uh, and uh, much better. And I don't know if you heard I did uh, I'm in the record books because it was voted the best presidential debate ever by someone standing on one leg. Yes. <laughs> so that was it. <laughs> I'm happy, happy we have that one, but hopefully don't have to do that again. Were you in a lot of pain while you were up there? Absolutely. And talk to anybody who's blown their Achilles and they'll confirm that. What do you think is the fairest criticism about you? That I'm not as polished as some of the other politicians. What do you say to critics who say that it was legally dubious, I believe was the term, for you to give the $20 gift cards in order to get a $1 donation. Well, first of all, that's a completely inappropriate and false statement because there's, there's nothing at all inappropriate about doing a promotion. You've got to get someone a reason to come and look, you know, come to your website and look. We've got, you know, thousands of people who gave a dollar to get the $20 gift card who come back and now donated because they've they got engaged with us. Mm. It was a smart way to get a, a campaign off the ground. As governor, you had, uh, just this past year, you signed eight anti-trans bills into law. Uh, North Dakota also has uh, some of the strictest abortion laws of any of the states. How would you work across the aisle with people who may totally differ from your point of view on those and other issues? Well, I think this goes back to the 10th Amendment uh, and take the the whole issue of Dobbs, which I support, it returned it to the states, and that's where it should belong. That's not a federal responsibility, and what works in New York will never work in North Dakota and vice versa. So some of these things need to be left to the states, uh, and that's where they belong. Do you remember the moment where you said, I'm going to run for president of the United States? I do. I was out here and um, with the family and kids and and um, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make the decision today.
And the oldest son, Joe, said, I think you should say it out loud. I think you should say it. You should just say it out loud. We went for a walk. We were out here um, in the, you know, in the beautiful walking through the tall grass and in the woods. And I said, and it was hard. And I said I, to my own kids, I said, I'm Doug Burgum and I'm running for president. And at that moment, you can't make it up. An eagle flew down right over the top of us, like a big, beautiful, bald eagle. We hadn't seen one all day. They don't live here. There's not one that we had propped, like, cue the, you know, cue the bald eagle. But it literally, like, flew down, like, 20 feet over our head. And we all got the chills when that happened. I haven't shared that with anybody, but I'm sharing it with you. Thanks for asking, Lindsay. As I asked, you, you got a little choked up about it. What is that emotion? Well... I think about my dad. And I think about people like him. I think about him because I think about the, there's 80,000, a little over 80,000 MIAs in the history of America. So I, the decision to run is not about, you know, politics and hot button issues. It, it's about the security of our country, the future of our kids and our grandkids. And so it's a super big decision. I take super seriously, and, and like I said, we're, we're in it out of a heart of service. Your greatest strength? Courage. Greatest weakness? Are you asking what my Achilles heel is? <laughs> but I'm pumped. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Apparently my Achilles heel is my Achilles yeah. heel. That's <laughs> Our thanks to Doug Burgum for that conversation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.